Um, hi, today we'll be looking at question 1010, pairs of songs with total deviation divisible by 60. So given a list of songs, uh, we just need to be able to find the number of pairs that add up to uh, a, a multiple of 60. So uh, if we see example one right here, we have three exact pairs, so 30 and 150 that add up to 180, which is divisible by 60, 20 and 100, <coughs> 120 divisible by 60 again, and 20 and 40 divisible by 60 again. Um, not too bad of a question. The approach that we'll be taking today is we'll be storing the values that we see so far in a hash map and the number of times that we've actually seen it. And every time we come across a new value, we try to see, uh, we try to get the complement of it and we see if the complement does exist in the hash map. If it does exist, we take the number of occurrences and we add that to the result that we have uh, that has been keeping a track of how many pairs that we have seen so far. Um, the, the space complexity is O of n, but since uh, we'll be taking a mod of 60, um, this could possibly be written as O of 1 since the maximum value that we could possibly have is 60 values in the hash map, and the time complexity would be O of n, where n um, are the number of entries in the time array. Um, so let's get started. Let's initialize our hash map first. zero and then we have a for loop <clears throat> for int t in in time um, the first thing we need to do is we need to get the mod of the value um, and the reason why we're doing this is because since we're comparing to the complement of that particular value in the hash map uh, you want to be able to do that with mod because the values that we're storing would be less than 60 um, so that would be t uh, mod 60. And the problem with this is that uh, <clears throat> you also need to be able to uh, get the complement of this. Uh, but there's a trick right here that we need to do. So we check if the mod uh, is equal to 0. If it is 0, we just do the value as 0. Else what we do is we... Um, take the complement of that that we sub subtract by 60. So the reason why we're doing this is because um, if the two values are already divisible by uh, 60 for in this case where we see 60 and 60, you want to get these two pairs that add up to a given 20 which is divisible by 60. So uh, you want to keep it as is. So you want to keep uh, the mod of that as zero but if uh, the value that you're getting is not equal to zero, you want to get a complement of that so that you can look for that particular value in the hash map. So uh, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, please let me know in the comments and I will like, answer your questions. Um, so for the result, what you're doing is your map.get uh, get our default value. Default. Uh, we're getting the complement uh, uh, zero. Okay, cool. And then you actually add that to the map itself. So map dot uh, put. So you put the mod value, and then map get our default um, mod plus one. Uh, so zero, and then plus one right here. So this will take care of the updating and then we would just write down result in the end. So let's just quickly run this and see if this is okay. Because so the first test case passed um, and it passes uh, all the other test cases as well. So that's good. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. If there are any questions that you want me to solve, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.